Theresa May will face a testing week as Parliament returns on Tuesday, with Conservative whips braced for battles with newly emboldened party rebels over the repeal bill. Both May and the Brexit Secretary, David Davis, warned MPs on Sunday they should not obstruct the bill's passage via amendments or they will risk a victory for Labour's leader, Jeremy Corbyn, remarks that Drew Eyer from some Conservatives who insisted they had legitimate concerns about the extent of the bill's powers. The European Union withdrawal bill, which will have its second reading on Thursday, is intended to transpose EU legislation into British law from the day the UK leaves the EU, but it is set to involve extensive use of so-called Henry VIII powers, laws that allow ministers to change primary legislation using secondary legislation without parliamentary scrutiny. Critics said the bill will give government ministers sweeping powers to change key areas of the law without parliamentary scrutiny, although Davis has insisted the powers will only be used for technical purposes. Q. At a stroke, all existing EU legislation affecting Britain into domestic UK law to avoid a legal black hole and prevent disruption the day after Britain leaves. The British Parliament is then meant to amend, repeal and improve each law as necessary, a gargantuan task. See our full Brexit phrasebook. Was this helpful? Thank you for your feedback. The former Constitution Minister, John Penrose, said there was a delicate balance to be struck between the flexibility required to cope with Brexit and the fundamental role of Parliament in scrutinising the changes. The Conservative MP said he hoped ministers would hear legitimate concerns from MPs about an overreach of powers. The current draft of the repeal bill gives lots of power to ministers so we can deliver Brexit, which is essential, but it cuts Parliament's role right down, he said. Ministers have already said they don't want this bill to be a power grab, so I'm sure they will listen and bring forward their own changes as the bill goes through Parliament. Keir Starmer, Labour won't give PM blank check. Over Brexit vote read more other Conservative MPs reacted angrily to demands from Number 10 that they should not seek to table amendments to the repeal bill when it reaches committee stage in October. Should any pro-Remain Tories table amendments that call for the option for the UK to remain in the single market or customs union, they are likely to attract cross-party support from Labour and Liberal Democrat MPs. On Sunday, Lib Dem Brexit spokesman Tom Brake said he had written to 21 conservative Eurosceptics who signed a joint letter in January 2016 before the Brexit referendum calling for parliamentary sovereignty to be put at the heart of David Cameron's renegotiations, asking them to reconsider their position on the repeal bill, given its implications.